main reason I chose to do my Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery at International Medical University is because of its partner medical school program. And this program differs from the local program because the local program consists of the students studying in Malaysia for all five years and they obtain their degree from Malaysia itself. But in the PMS program, which is also the partner medical school program, students have the chance to choose to study in a different country of their choice, which, um, which consists of the UK, Australia and Canada, where there are many well-recognized universities that the, the student can choose from. And this not only gives students experience and exposure, but gives the chance to obtain their qualification from that country itself. I picked uh, medicine in IMU. West, uh, IMU is Malaysia's first and most established university, uh, private uh, medical and health science university. Over 24 years of uh, dedicated focus on uh, making the healthcare system better. And also, as my colleague said, the PMS program. Uh, so IMU has pioneered uh, the partner medical university model, uh, so which is having a strong uh, global bond uh, between 29 other partner medical universities all around the world. And uh, this also opened doors uh, to uh, education and other training facilities as doctors we need in our future. Alright, so basically approaching the clinical uh, aspect of IMU, it's quite a major deal in IMU because even the very first semester students, we are taken into hospitals and we are taught how to uh, carry out certain procedures on patients and also we are taught how to interview patients uh, respectively and uh, to add to everything, every uh, twice a week there is something called CSSC sessions which is clinical skills and simulation center this is basically, in simpler words, it's a, a replica of a hospital setting. So we have the necessary equipment to carry out any procedure that we are taught to do by our nurses or our lecturers. So we have the necessary setting or the environment to carry out all those procedures. And as you progress on to later semesters, we not only visit hospitals, we visit clinics as well. And when we visit these clinics, we are supposed to write reports at the end of it. That makes us, uh, like, makes us understand how we are supposed to approach patients, build up rapport with them, and it really helps us when it comes to uh, continuing our clinical years later on in the MBBS program. Okay, so basically, apart from the lectures and the notes that are put up on the student e-learning portal, IMU also has some sessions called the problem-based learning sessions, which consist of small groups of students put in with the lecturer who is known as a facilitator during those sessions to discuss the lessons they've learned and to bring up their problems and find solutions for them which also gives the lecturer the ability to give personal attention to each student and students to discuss their opinions among themselves and this is also held like every once a week or twice a week and then there are the medical muse museum sessions which consist of other small groups where the lecturer guides the students and shows them models and other uh, structures and diagrams and students are helped to discuss what they've learned in the previous week and then they also have like my fellow friend here said the clinical skill sessions where we are learned to practice our skills on simulated patients so we get a hospital like experience and doctors and nurses teach us the following things so it gives us a better chance to practice our skills uh, when we go out into hospitals and clinics and then we have the mentor mentee program where each student is assigned a personal lecturer as a personal trainer any kind of thing where the lecturer will follow up on the students um, achievements and the, what the student does and will help them out with their problems and basically the student can talk and interact with the mentor and he or she will guide them throughout their time at IMU. There are often myths that say the medical student is like uh, the life is very hard but in reality it is not that hard it's like you have to burn the midnight oil and but uh, it's very enjoyable interesting and highly rewarding at the end of the day and also uh, studying in Malaysia the uh, cost expenditure cost is comparatively affordable compared to other uh, developed countries 
and also we have a trouble free and easy uh, immigration procedures at the Malaysian government and the IMU provide us with a lot of uh, extracurricular activities to engage us and to have a stress free life uh, other than the studies we have uh, community services we have other sports and other clubs and societies to, for us to join and so yeah uh, at the beginning uh, I was quite skeptical about my uh, life as a student in Malaysia but after spending a couple of months in Malaysia I it had a complete drastic change on my perspective, uh, yeah. Educate made our entrance into IMU a very smooth and easy transition because I was able to at any time or any day correspond with the uh, representatives in IMU Malaysia through the counsellors at Educate. So this really made it an easy process for me to uh, uh, clarify any doubts I had and uh, made all my visa approval and admission documents, everything was done for me by the counsellors at Educate and it was quite uh, a smooth process that went on. Yeah, so I could call any time to advocate to clarify my doubts and if I had any problems with admissions and stuff, I would any time call and they would be really helpful and very engaging with my uh, work. Uh, they helped us very well with our accommodation because we got first priority and therefore we got into very good rooms at hostels so I'm very thankful for that. So once again on behalf of myself here and my friends, I thank all the counsellors at Educate for all the help and support they have extended towards, uh, towards us in this transition from uh, school to university basically. So once again, thank you all.